Hi guys. First of all, I want to thank the smack for because the, the idea to build this cell came from Smack Design. Now, Smack, using the Bob Boyce protocol, um, but built a cell with no holes on the bottom. Now, there's no holes on the bottom, and, and he has um, a refill tube that refills each cell individually. Now, after seeing what he did, I liked it a lot, and, and I built um, I built a cell just just like that. I replicated his cell, uh, and it works pretty good. It's, it really works pretty good. But the thing is, this cell right here is is not going in my in my pickup. It's it's actually going in a motorcycle. And as you know, the problems of having a dry cell in a motorcycle is that in case of of the Bob Boyce protocol on dry cells and, and smack design. Every time you brake or accelerate, or even corner, the water is going to end up uh, touching the, um, the, the holes. So, when it, touch the holes, when it touches the holes, you're going to lose efficiency. And since it's a motorcycle, you're basically always uh, touching, the water is always touching the holes. So, instead of the 7.7 .7 MMWs you're, you're going to get, or you're supposed to get, you're going to get a lot less than that, because even if it well b basically it's con con constantly touching the freaking holes I, I, I tried it and and that's what happened to me so what I what I came up with was um, a manifold that goes runs through the top of the cell and each each one of these um, each one of these tubes goes inside each and every one of the um, of the cells uh, separately so they are completely insulated insulated from from each other there's no current leakage whatsoever it can't be because you see even if it tried to come from from the this one like this one it wouldn't happen because this is full of air this is where the, the gas comes out now the thing with the cell is that to refill it the first time or like every week you have to use a syringe and and take this cap here out each of the caps and and just put the, um, the liquid, the electrolyzers, manually. After you've done that, what's going to happen is, this is not the reservoir, this is just a, a jar, what's going to happen is that, um, come out, due to the vacuum that's created inside the cell, it's going to pull the water back in, so it like auto refills, if, if you want to say so. And it's really small, as you can see, this is my hand, this is really, really frick, and I don't have a big hand. This is a really, really small, small cell to, to have on my motorcycle. I am currently, this is a green cell, I ha it hasn't uh, broken in yet. Uh, I am getting 5.2 MMW, 5.3, um, but it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's, it's good for a motorcycle, it's, it's definitely better than a, than a wet cell, I mean. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I want to thank again uh, Smack for his idea and his videos. He's actually helped me a lot in this. Um, and here it is. That's what I did. I'm gonna build uh, one just like this, but with um, refill uh, with with a, a reservoir. This one is not gonna have a reservoir. It's just gonna have the bubbler and then a secondary bubbler. But anyway, I'm gonna build one with a big reservoir for this thing because this is a three liter. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to use only 7 cells, I'm going to use, um, I don't know, 16 or maybe 21. Um, I mean 14 or maybe 20, 10, 21, I, I just don't know yet. And it's going to be a, li a little bit bigger, so I'll let you guys know how, how it turned out. Thanks for watching. This is Refuger.